Hey guys, new guitar day. So I just got back from making the sacrifice of buying this on Amazon.com, traveling to Michigan to pick it up. Enduring all of those costs just to get something we don't have and I've never seen before. And it's been sold on Amazon.com under the seller's name of Bullstar and he or she or they sell a whole bunch of other stuff not just guitars so this is not branded Bullstar if you look if you zoom in you'll see that it's min sign on the headstock on the advertisement on Amazon and without further ado let's see what we can get in this box. Now, as you know, it's a telly, because I showed the picture. Sticky. There we go. Oh, it has a gig bag. <laughs> and a whole bag of candy. It's like the uh, Ash Thorps and the Bullfighters. The bag is not as good as a bullfighter. It's about as good as the Amun. And the front has a Velcro, not a zipper. And a cord. Two cords. Tuner. Cheapy strap. Sacrificial strings for setting up in case you break one. Okay. Oh, that's gonna break off. Throw it on the table for now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Down you go. I have a better bag for it. Oh. Has a new guitar smell. Alrighty. And now, for a an eighty nine dollar guitar, I'm not expecting a whole lot from it as far as electrics go. Um, all I really wanted was. A good body and a good neck and the neck fits in nice and tight on both sides no problem there in this light I think it was just a bag that smelled uh, plastics in this light the body looks pretty good this dirt they even got the buffing inside the horn better than some others yeah three position box switch has to go we'll see about those pots I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this um, but the uh, neck looks good it's just um, darkened the poly let's try the tuners yeah, they have uh, the standard amount of slop and play in them. I have tuners to replace them too. It is A-OK. -okay. Uh, the plate is beefy. And the pickup has fragments of metal stuck to the top of the poles. I wonder where that came from metal uh, metal shards Woo. as I said not expecting a lot from from those uh, pickups because of course they probably will definitely have to go I'm looking underneath right here and uh, I can see that the bobbin is not very thick so it's probably going to be a little bit oh there is a lot of metal filings on the top of these pickups uh, poles Wow I wonder where they came from. 
Did they drill something that was metal? <laughs> and it all flew. And, then, and there's some inside the side bobbin as well. On both sides. It's stuck in there. Oh well, we'll see where that could have came from. It's a three ply black pick guard that will be replaced. The back of the body is a one, two, there's a definite seam here, a one. And that looks like it, a two. Big piece, small piece. The neck doesn't have a scarf because it's kind of a fender style neck. The heel is the standard Telecaster thick heel grab down here. It's not chamfered at all. Don't expect that on a $90 guitar basically. But uh, <clears throat> as long as it's uh, a good body and a good neck, uh, you know we can fix everything else, right? And the nut is likely plastic. The action as it's currently set is high. Quite, uh, uh, quite the height. The saddles have the set screws set right to the flush mark. So for that to go down, and this not to be hanging out the top, this neck will have to be uh, shimmed back. There's a no-brainer about that. The truss rod looks like the neck is almost flat at the moment. Not a lot of debris down there, just a little bit of white powder. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit loose. They're the old old style buttons, not the new ones. I don't use them anyway. I thought about trying to use a, a strap even sitting down. I did put it on and I, it made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to uh, do some stretching. Um, and see what it, it'll uh, it'll do. The pickup is uh, very far from the strings, bo both of them. But I'm going to try to vacuum all of that metal off the top before I go any further with trying to uh, do, um, you know, tuning and stretching and the like. And I will plug it in, see what it sounds like as it came. <clears throat> so. I'll do this cleaning and uh, get ready to go over to the amp. Okay, I, uh, instead of bringing the strings down, I brought the pickups up. Um, even after I vacuumed, of course, some of the metal filings that were on the top wouldn't come off. So I have some little neodymium magnets, which are much stronger, and I pulled it all off with that. Uh, so I brought them up because uh, it's less work than bringing these down. And then later, when I tilt the neck, I bring them all back up again. So the action is still the action. The truss rod was completely released. After I put the tension on it, it, it underbowed, so I had to give it a little bit of tension. There's still a tiny bit there. It could, it could use another one. The plastic nut is cut fairly well. It's just a tiny bit high on a couple of the strings here. It, uh, A, D, G, B, well, yeah, I guess only this E is pretty good, and not by much, right, that, that would just have to come down, but after this comes down over here, it might not be as bad up there, so remember, do everything else before recutting your nut, um, right, everything else has to be good before you cut the nut slots to get the action over the first fret. Has to be has to be good here at your seventeenth uh, fret. So the tuners are a little loosey goosey. Um, when you're turning them, you know they might need just um, 
a number of swirls through to get the lubrication going again but I felt like there was a a place where they lopped a little bit um, they are holding um, I had to do multiple stretchings it is a string through body if you didn't notice from before and that was one of the things I was saying wow string through body for you know a ninety dollar guitar so what's that wax there's wax on it um, on the back See this spot here? That's like something in the wood, right? It's like a little knot or something that was in there. I like that kind of figuring. I like the I like the wood look. The different color wood, right? They didn't care about matching uh, colored pieces apparently, but uh, who cares, right? It's nice orange. Um, I like the color of the body. It was a little bit orangier in the picture. Um, on the website a little bit darker orange just more of a yellow orange more of a darker orange and I don't have anything this color so that's all right maple neck is nice as well there's a little bit of a figuring here with a piece of a knot and you can see the grain going up the neck the neck is fairly nice it's uh, it's lacquered or polyed let's say um, a little bit of, you know, sanding on that would probably take that off and make it more satiny. Now, uh, I did take the, what looked like cellophane wrap. Uh, normally you get like a thick plastic on pickups, but this looked look more like sandwich wrap, very thin sandwich wrap that had been just put on the top of this. There's still a protector on this pick guard. The switch works okay. Um, all right. <coughs> So we're going to put it on my standard test 65 Deluxe with just my teeny bit of reverb and delay as everybody would play. Now of course I tested this before I turned on the camera so I know that that bridge is surprising. Did you hear that? Strings don't sound as cheap as the Orphys. I can feel the difference in the fretting though. The frets are needing, of course, polishing, probably leveling. Um, I haven't found a problem because this is so high, right? And that's one of the things that they kind of fool you with initially is that if this is very high and the action isn't down there like you know almost parallel with the fretboard then you don't really find the high frets because you know they're angled like this over them so by the time you fret one here the next one it's still too high but when it's low and parallel that's when you that's when you find it and it doesn't take much because when the strings are parallel to the fretboard with the you know like three sixty fourths 464, 364 on this side, um, and the fret, uh, you know, um, truss rod is set properly in the middle. Just, the, I mean, between fretting one fret here and the height over the next one is not a lot. I don't know how many thousands it is, but it's very small when that's down. When the action is high, it's much greater. So you don't really find high frets. So all those people that go out of the box and go, oh, there's no high frets. It's because that's sky high, right? All right, so the bridge is very bright. The neck is very dark. But there's two usable positions, I say, on this guitar out of the box. Bridge and middle. Because in the middle, they complement each other very nicely. There's a very nice tone in the middle.
it's like a mountain high here. It's really hard. <laughs> So in the middle it's very complimentary. The volume works. Well, the tone is a 47, I'm sure of it. Yeah. So in the bridge position, out of the box, if you're new to it and, uh, you know, you wanted to use this guitar, for 90 bucks, it's usable, okay? It's usable. Um, you probably will have to use the tuner quite often. Um, I would recommend, of course, uh, you put new strings. You adjust these down. If you're not going to take off the neck and do shimming, adjust them down. Um, you'll, you'll have to contend with the higher uh, set screws here under your hand. Or you can go on Amazon and you can buy shorter set screws like these are probably 10 millimeters long you can buy eights and you can buy sixes right and then if you drop them to get the action you want here and it's, it works okay over the fretboard you can put in shorter screws without having to work on shimming okay that's an option um, with it down I think the this would be okay up there I, of course, would always replace those butterflies because, you know, they have a tendency to want to bind and cause you, you know, um, um, binding or binding. What's another way of saying binding? Um, scraping, friction uh, underneath the edges of these sharp things. They, they kind of cut into the string because they're, they're stamped downwards so there's sharp bottoms on them. So they'll cut into the string. So when you're trying to tune, it'll tune and all of a sudden it'll jump past and then you'll come back down and you'll have to do that a number of times. And then what will happen is, you know, it'll, it'll make a groove in the string up here and eventually it'll, it'll weaken it. So those butterflies, I always, they're always gone and they're always replaced with the um, American Fender style, which is just a tiny little round, you know, cylinder and it's the least amount of friction on the string at that point. And there's no scraping. So your tuning is fine. If you, and if you've replaced the tuners, I think you'd be okay too. So any, any you know, um, Music Lily has a great set of locking tuners at, uh, I think, uh, gear ratios of 15 to one. Uh, the Pro Series are, might be 17s. I've used, I think, both of them. The Pro Music Lily ones are better. I would recommend them. Uh, but you know what? Um, out of the box, it's not terrible. If you wanted to learn to play guitar, you could learn to play on this with a few um, adjustments. It's already out of tune. Or it was me. It was me. And, uh, and if you like this, and you have a use for it, on its own, it's great. But for me, it would be that position. And the bridge is chimey, but just roll back on the volume a tiny bit. I mean, just a tiny bit like that. And it'll take some of that. Mm, off of it. Um, I also tried it with the um, tone knob, but you got to go a little bit further to get the same sound as just moving this about an eighth of an inch. Very, very tiny. And somebody always wants to know, what does it sound like with dirt? All right, let's put some dirt. I'm gonna put it exactly the same, but I'm adding the fuzz inside the amplifier on it. Up. 
Paz. That's the fuzz. What about the overdrive? Here it is. drives on my pedal board. We're going to go back to the fuzz. And we're going to put the compressor on. Vintage Overdrive after the fuzz or before the fuzz. I think that's going to do it for that part so hey for 90 bucks this is not a bad deal you know and uh, since it does have good bones I think I can make it better and I know I am so I wanted to show you this because it's brand new um, and I interjected it in between finishing off Tony the Tiger. So you'll see some more Tony the Tigers before you see what I end up doing with this because I haven't fully decided yet. And um, so keep this in mind. Uh, it'll show up again later, sometime um, end of December, maybe into January. Probably January at the earliest. All right, appreciate all your support. 
Uh, we're getting closer and closer, slowly, to the um, 2,000 subs. And um, we'll have to work on uh, another giveaway at that point. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do in the new year. Somebody might get a new guitar. Fully upgraded. Catch you in the next one.